get the hair nice and evenly wet. You could simplify this by washing the hair to start, otherwise watering, using your water spray bottle. Lightly spray the hair and comb through at the same time. Check the growth patterns, i.e. crowns, double crowns, cow's licks, nape whirls. Anything that might change the finish of the cut. So to start this one length cut, we need to detangle the hair, spray the hair down with water or wash the hair before we start. We need to section the hair off in a four, four cross section using the center point of the scalp maybe using the nose and working through all the way to the back of the neck in a straight line and then creating a cross section from ear to ear. Pinning the hair up like this creates control and gives you the ability to work in sections of the head one at a time or two at a time to get the right finish. Releasing one section at a time, create your guideline and section for cut. Release the second side making it sure it's nice and symmetrical from one side to the other. Pin the other sections back up and you have your first section to begin the one length cut. Create a centerpiece that you can manage and control for your fingers. Comb, clamp with two fingers, comb and clamp until you get the tension right. Decide on the length of cut with your client, do they want it shoulder length, do they want it above shoulder length, at what point of the neck would they like it cut. At what point do they want it lower than the shoulders? Show them in the mirror, use a visual and then begin the cut. So comb and clamp, comb and clamp the hair. Make sure you've got a nice consistent tension in the hair. And then you're cutting into the palm of your hand, making sure your fingers are straight parallel to the floor. Cut the first section of hair. Once you've done this middle section, comb over to the side. One side or the other. You've got a middle section guideline to work to. Cut away from that, straight parallel, your fingers parallel to the floor. Once you've done one side, bring in the other side, cut that, making sure your fingers stay parallel and you've got a nice straight line. Take one piece of hair from each side, bring it into the middle and check that they're even. Once you've cut that first section, it's going to be the guideline to every section you cut afterwards. So we've taken our next section higher than the last lower section that we had to begin. We've got our guideline cut. We take our next section, we pull the hair down over the top of the last section we cut underneath. And then we should see the guideline before we cut the hair. And that gives us the one length. We continue to work up until we reach the center point of the cross section and then we finish the back. So release the hair, comb it through. This should be our last section from the top. See the guideline underneath, make the cut. 
do your checks from one side to the other. If it's even, great. If not, check the balance and adjust where needed. If you can't see the guideline of the hair that you've cut underneath, just work back a step with your guideline, move back down, move back down until you find your guideline again and then resection perhaps not as high as the section you had before and then make the cut. Once you've finished the back then we're going to work in the sides. Now to work in the sides we need to first create our first guideline section. So comb it all down with the back. Create a section from the temple point across to the back. Section up the hair that we're not going to use. And then using the back of the hair as our guideline, we cut into the guideline. Still cutting into our palms and then repeat the steps up until we reach the center point. Once you've done one side, do the other. Check for the balance.
below. Speaking. Runs through till um, next February, I think it is. Uh, no, I think it was a bit longer than that actually to sort of uh, hold on to the numbers, yeah. I'll have a look at your services, thank you. Cheers, bye. All the best.
working in the sides from the back, create your first section. And then with the back, from the back to the front, cut across your guide, pull down the next section. Hopefully you should be able to see the guideline underneath from the first section into the second section and so on and so forth till you get to the centre line. Create your section on one side, make sure it's symmetrical on the other, stand to the front and check so you can see both sides are even. Once you've cut one side and the other, do your check and keep working up your sections till you get to the centre and then you complete the cut.